Today I'm going to show you how to play three easy songs on the guitar. At the end of the video I'll show you how I learn how to play songs really quickly and then I'll teach you a method of how you can almost learn any song there is in the pop world within minutes. There's this chord structure called the 1-4-5. I'm going to show you a 1-4-5 sequence that's used in thousands and thousands of songs. I'm not going to go into depth in teaching you where to put your fingers on the fretboard. I assume you already know how to play these chords, but I'll give you a close up of my guitar neck just in case if you don't know how to play them yet, this will give you a good idea. Today we're gonna look at the G, C, D, and we're gonna add an E minor chord. The first easy song to play on the guitar is Perfect, and this is a new song by Ed Sheeran. And all it is is the sequence of those exact chords. G, E minor, C and D. Then back to G. That's perfect. That is one very easy song to play on the guitar. The second really easy song to play on the guitar is called You Are the Reason by Callum Scott. And it's almost the exact same as perfect. It's a G chord and it's an E minor chord. C chord, and it goes back to the E minor chord, and that's it, back to the G. The third easy song to play on the guitar is by James Arthur, and it's called Say You Won't Let Go. Also a very popular pop song, it's written in the exact same chord sequence, we have G, we have D, we have E minor, and C. G. D, E minor, and C. It actually sounds a lot like Rock me mama like a wagon wheel Rock me So overplayed Rock me mama like That chord sequence is a little different than Perfect and You Are The Reason, but the exact same chords. If you learn these four chords, you can literally play 1,000 pop songs on your first day. When I play those songs, when I'm busking outside, I always get immediate reaction. I remember when I played Perfect by Ed Sheeran outside. I started the song and I ended the song and I looked in my little suitcase and there was like 30 euro after one song. Here's the tip of how I learn pop songs so quickly. I know the 145 chord sequence, and then you go to a site called ultimateguitar.com, you find the chord structure, and then you do this thing called transposing. Transposing is, if a song is written in the key of C, you can transpose the song to be written in the key of G, which basically, you're just bringing the song up or down to a G that fits your style of voice better, which is really easy because if you're very comfortable playing the 1-4-5 structure in G, C, D, then you can transpose any song to G and play it in that chord structure that you enjoy playing. Those are my three recommendations for easy songs to play on the guitar. Please subscribe, comment, share, let me know if you like this video. Um, I can make more, I can make less, probably won't make less actually, but...